Welcome back friends to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. Before we begin, show us some love by hitting that thumbs up button and let us know down in the comments what you loved about the new Venom film. With that, let's get to today's list of the Top 10 Venom Disturbing Secrets. In at number 10, Saved by a Villain. A not so disturbing secret for you comic book lovers out there, but for those of you who don't know, at one time, Eddie Brock was diagnosed with cancer. The only thing keeping him alive was the symbiote suit, and when he was about to end his life, Spider-Man had saved him. However, his cancer was cured when a supervillain known as Mr. Negative gave Brock a biological shock which cured him of his cancer. As a result, Venom became anti-Venom, and a good guy at that. With a new outlook on life, he began trying to cure other symbiotes and superhumans alike. Number 9, Created by a Fan. This disturbing secret more so involves the creation of Venom that not too many people may know. Back in the day, a comic book fan from Illinois pitched the idea for Venom, which was originally just Spider-Man wearing a black costume that enhanced his power. The editor-in-chief at the time, Jim Shooter, actually replied with a letter of interest and, are you ready? bought the idea for a mere $220. Considering the film alone has grossed an astonishing $677 million worldwide, that pitch is worth a lot more. Now, it wasn't just the fan that made Venom into the symbiote that you know and love today. It did take a lot of behind the scenes work to craft that pitch into its own living character. But the amount that it was bought for is still disturbing to say the least. Number eight, feasted on cancer. As I mentioned earlier, Brock was diagnosed with cancer, but what we didn't know was the disturbing secret that the symbiote enjoyed it. The Venom symbiote was actually feasting off of the adrenaline that the cancer was producing in Eddie's body. Brock even tried in the comic book to auction off the Venom symbiote, and like I mentioned, attempted to end his own life just to escape it. Luckily, Mr. Negative was around to put an end to that disturbing dinner for Venom. Number seven, powered by hatred. To ask you for one thing. I want you to kill Peter Parker. That hatred that you just saw Eddie Brock from Spider-Man 3 display is ultimately what gives the Venom symbiote strength. When Peter rejects the symbiote suit, it becomes obsessed with destroying Spider-Man and gives whoever wears the suit fuel to destroy him. Spider-Man has his villains of course, but the Venom symbiote seems to be the only one that actually thrives from hating Parker. Considering how fast Spider-Man was able to defeat the Scorpion when he wore the suit really speaks to the fact that he just didn't hate him enough. Not like Eddie though, Eddie really hated him. Number six, gave birth to Carnage. Well, not literally, but the Venom symbiote definitely spawned the insane Carnage symbiote. From the start of Venom appearing, fans wondered where the villain came from, and assuming it was created on Battleworld, they didn't really expect another symbiote to appear. However, when Eddie Brock was in prison, the Venom symbiote took over to break him out, and when it did that, it left behind a single red spawn. With Brock now gone, his mass murdering cellmate, Cletus Cassidy, bonded with the spawn who was in desperate need of a host. The most disturbing part about this secret is that Carnage is one of the greatest foes for both Spider-Man and Venom. It bonds with its host on a molecular level, making it almost impossible to physically separate it from the host. Number 5, Stolen Identity. Now as I mentioned, the Venom symbiote runs on a hatred for Spider-Man. That's why this little secret is strange and disturbing. At one point the symbiote was actually pretending to be the amazing Spider-Man when he joined the Dark Avengers. After the Civil War crossover, the original Avengers were left in shambles, which left a perfect opening for Norman Osborn to fill the gap. He soon recruited Matt Gargan to wear the Venom symbiote, but gave him a medication that transformed the suit into looking just like Spider-Man's, which caused a lot of conflict between Mac and the Venom suit. He even lost control several times not being able to handle the symbiote's power. Number 4, Ditched a Host. Many people have worn the Venom symbiote suit from Eddie to Mac Gargan, and let's not forget Flash Thompson. However, one time a mobster had purchased the symbiote, and in an attempt to make a man out of his son, he gave it to Angelo Fortuna. However, unbeknownst to Angelo, he was but a pawn in the Venom's eyes. During a battle with Spider-Man, he attempted to run away by jumping in between buildings. Except mid-flight, the Venom symbiote bailed, resulting in Angelo falling to his death. Number 3, Ate His Own Clone. Back in 2003, there was a mini-series that involved government agents creating a clone of Venom to destroy humanity. After it went on a cross-country tour of rampage and destruction, it attempted to kill the original Venom. However, Eddie Brock was able to defeat the clone by eating him. 
or I guess the technical term would be reabsorbing. He essentially ate his own clone. Number two, green saliva. Many fans were wondering what this green saliva coming from Venom's mouth could be. Well, in Venom number eight, we get our answer and it's disturbing to say the least. In that comic book, Eddie Brock wakes up handcuffed in a prison being asked questions about his symbiote suit. And the villain asking the questions mentions that the green drool is how Eddie's symbiote excretes waste when it dissolves foreign matter that enters its body. This is disturbing and disgusting because that means Venom has been essentially pooping out what he eats through his mouth. Gross. Lastly, at our number one spot, desire to eat people. Not just eat people, but specifically eat their brain. And no, I'm not talking about the zombie verse. Venom actually needs the chemical phenethylamine to survive. The only way to get that chemical is by eating a human brain where the stimulant is found. While he can't produce it naturally, the symbiote has a biological thirst for it. Now, Venom also understands that he can't forever depend on eating human brains, so he also finds the chemical in chocolate. Who would have thunk it? Now, with mentioning that disturbing secret, I also have to remind you that at the same time, the symbiote is forcing its host to also be consuming human brains. While Eddie Brock could mostly control the suit to not eat humans, Matt Gargan unfortunately could not. The B-class villain became extremely overwhelmed with a lust for violence and soon became a cannibal. And that has been the top 10 Venom disturbing secrets. Thank you for watching it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you happen to be new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Plus, let me know down in the comments which disturbing secret you found the most interesting. And if you want more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click the playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.